A decision is pending from the Texas Supreme Court on the Texas law restricting gender affirming care for kids. Today, the state of Texas is defending the law in court. Troy Kless joins us from the newsroom with that story. Troy. Well, Ron, just hours ago, I spoke with an attorney for the ACLU, a party in the lawsuit, and they say the law restricts a parent's right to choose care for their children, but supporters of the bill say that care is harmful. In the Texas Supreme Court, judges heard the arguments over SB 14 being defended by the state's attorney general's office. The statute is narrowly tailored to protecting children from interventions that interfere with their growth and development and have irreversible physical effects. But several families and groups are suing, arguing the care is important. The state has disregarded widely recognized benefits of the care that Senate Bill 14 bans and the risk of doing nothing to treat gender dysphoria. SB 14 blocks the use of gender affirming care, including puberty blockers and hormone therapy. The group Texas Values claims they are trying to protect children. When you put kids through these procedures, kids get hurt and kids res um, end up with irreversible damage that many times later they decide I shouldn't have done that. Speaking with the ACLU of Texas, they say now prohibited care is forcing families with transgender children to leave the state and they say doctors who traditionally provide gender affirming care are leaving too. For decades, puberty blockers and hormone therapy are considered safe and effective. This medical care is supported by every major medical association in the United States. The only thing that is new, unfortunately, is the political wave of attacks. Attorneys argued to the court that politicians shouldn't choose what's best for kids. The issue here is the state coming into the living room of parents and making decisions about care. And that's the problem. And the plaintiffs want a temporary injunction that pauses SB 14 to be upheld. It's not clear when the Supreme Court could make a decision after today's hearing. In the newsroom, Troy Kless, KHOU 11 News.